Tara and Kriya and today I wanted to make a video standing up because it's going to be a short, quick, hopefully to the point story time and so you know got to use all those arm movements. But yeah, I'm going to tell a story about how me and my friends got kicked out of our Airbnb. So yeah, if you've been keeping up with my vlogs, you've already heard this story, but if you haven't, I'm here to tell you the actual story. So I'm going to go into a little bit more detail with this story, but basically me and my friends decided, you know, we're going to take a little weekend getaway to Busan. We were super excited about it. We had planned this all within like probably 15 hours before we left to go to Busan because it was kind of a spur of the moment trip. We're like, let's just go. We're excited. Like it's springtime. It'll be so pretty. The weather's nice. We can just have a fun time. So we buy the KTX tickets. We book our Airbnb. We let the lady know. We're like, hey, we got a dog. Is everything cool? She's like, yeah, it's great. See you tomorrow. And so we're like, awesome. And so we get on the train, we go to Busan, and we check into our Airbnb. And the Airbnb was nice. It had two rooms, it was clean, everything looked good, and we were super excited. But before we got up to the Airbnb, like when um, my friend, his name's Jin Sung, and my other friend's name is Joanne, they're married. Um, so before we get up to the Airbnb, like Jin Sung's like typing in the code that the Airbnb host had sent him. And as we're like doing this, everybody's kind of like looking at us. And me and Joanne, we're black, so we're used to always being stared at, especially being with like two black girls with a random Korean man, like we're used to getting stared at, but usually it's kind of like curious stares, like it's never kind of like gross, disgusting stares, but everybody was just looking at us like we were just gross aliens coming into this Airbnb and we're kind of giving like stares back, like Joanne does not be playing around. If somebody stares at her, she'd be looking back at them like, what you staring at? You look weird too. So we're just like confused, like all the people either coming in or out of the apartment building are just looking at us really weird, but we're like, okay, whatever, you know what, we're not here to be dealing with these issues. So we get into our Airbnb, like I said, it was nice, we're chilling, we're thinking about, oh, should we take a nap? But then we're like, no, we didn't come here to take no nap. <laughs> so we stay at the Airbnb for all of about like maybe 30 minutes to an hour. And then we're like, let's go out. Let's go do something. Let's go see the cherry blossoms or something fun. So as we're taking the elevator to go downstairs, we get in the elevator, we get downstairs and we're outside of the apartment and we're looking up directions to go to the place where we want to see the cherry blossoms. And there's this guy who works at the apartment building like we call him like a Kyongbi Ajishi, which is basically like a security guard, but it's not like he's a security guard, like ready to take people down. Like it's more of just like this old man who's there like monitoring things, seeing what's going on. So he comes up to us like speaking Korean or whatever, and we're just trying to ignore him because we're like, we've done nothing wrong. Why are you bothering us? So he's just like, hey, hey, hey. And like we're just ignoring him, but clearly he sees that Jin Sung is a Korean person. So he keeps like being like, hey. And so eventually we're like, yeah, what's up? And he's like, why are you here? And Jin Sung doesn't really answer him. He kind of just gives him a look like, why are you asking me this? Like, I'm doing nothing wrong. And so then he's asked again, like, why are you here? And so eventually, the so, um, Kyung Bi Ajishi, he's like, oh, you're here for an Airbnb. And then we kind of just give like a head nod. And I tell you, like, I'm not joking with you at all. Like, this man took the biggest huff of his life. Like, he had never breathed a brush of air ever. And he just goes, <gasps> so angry. And then just immediately, like, turns around and, like, starts walking off into some other direction. And we're like, what? What was that about? Like, that was weird. Like, but again, we've come into contact with a lot of, like, weird older Korean men. So we're just like, what was his problem? Like, what, what's the issue here? So anyway, um, you know, that's dumb. We're not gonna let this old man ruin our time out here. So we just completely forget about him. And we decide to go look at the cherry blossoms and everything. They were super pretty. We we're just enjoying our time. And then, you know, four or five o'clock's rolling up and we're like, who wouldn't love some soju outside of a convenience store right now? So we decide to go in a convenience store, get some soju. We're mixing up these drinks. We're just having a good time. And then Jin Sung gets a phone call and I'm like, oh, it must be fine. But then like, I'm looking at his face. I'm kind of hearing what's going on in the conversation in Korean. I know he's talking to the Airbnb host and I was like, what's the problem here? So after Jin Sung gets off the phone, he just kind of gives this like look of defeat. Like you can see how angry he is, but we're also all a little bit tipsy at this point now because we had drink 
quite a bit before this phone call happens. So he's just kind of looking kind of defeated. Then he looks up and he's like, we're getting kicked out of our Airbnb. And I'm like, what do you mean you're, <laughs> we're getting kicked out of our Airbnb? Like, are you serious right now? Like, what's what's the issue? What's going on here? And apparently the Kyombi Ajashi, like, reported to the people in the building that there were foreigners staying at this Airbnb and then everybody in the apartment started calling the Airbnb host like hey we're gonna sue you we're gonna sue you like if these foreigners do not get out of this Airbnb we're going to sue you and <laughs> like I can't even like just describe the frustration but basically the Airbnb host who again I'd like to state was being super nice like she felt really bad for us and we felt bad for her like I don't blame her at all I am more upset you know at the people living in the apartment buildings but basically they're just like how in the world could you invite foreigners to an Airbnb in a time like this like they're from what Jinsung got from the conversation with the Airbnb host it sounded like oh if it had been Korean people staying at the Airbnb it would have been cool like but because it was foreigners staying at the Airbnb it was a problem they're like these people came from America like they probably got the virus like why are they staying at this airbnb like you gotta get them out of here or we're gonna sue you first off jinsung's telling us what's going on and in my head i'm just i'm very frustrated and i'm sure we're all frustrated like first off of all the people in korea who have the virus majority of them are korean so that's step number one two jinsung had tried to like explain to the lady like hey can you like tell all the people who are complaining like one of them is my wife. She has not been back to America in three years. Like, it's all good. And then he's like, the other one is like my wife's friend. And she also has not been to America. Like, she hasn't been in like a year and a half. Like, it's all good. Like, it's not like we just came to Korea. Like, it would be a different story if we had just came to Korea and, you know, we weren't quarantining or something. But we didn't. We've been here for so long. Like, trust me, I'm not trying to be in America right now. Like, shit looks crazy over there. Like, I'm quite comfortable in Korea. And had I come from America, I would be quarantining for 14 days. Like, I'm not stupid. Like, if you don't quarantine, you can get deported from the country. So, yeah. Like, it wasn't, like, that wasn't their problem. It wasn't like they were saying, like, oh, these people need to be in quarantine or we're going to, like, get them deported or something. It was literally just the fact of they're foreigners. They're staying in this Airbnb. They could have the virus. That's what it sounded like to me. And so we're all just sitting there so frustrated. And it's like at this time like 6 37 and we have a dog with us so we can't just go stay at a motel because most motels or hotels are not going to allow us to have a dog so an Airbnb was our best option and we're like what do we do like it's already too late to find another Airbnb for the night and we had taken the train to Busan and taking the train takes about an hour and 30 minutes and taking the bus would take like three hours and it was already getting late like we had brought all our stuff there we weren't trying to leave so we're like the situation sucks but let's just look up to see if we can find another airbnb and thankfully like we could so there was only one option like that was the only airbnb option left for us for that night so we quickly bought it or whatever we call the host back and we're like hey listen we found a place like we'll try to get out of your apartment and like an hour so she's like thank you i'm so sorry like she was very understanding and very nice so again i'm not angry at the airbnb host but like just the whole situation was very frustrating like i would totally understand if air like all airbnbs had to be like kind of closed down for this time or and like nobody was allowed to stay or if even like you know korean people went to this airbnb people would have the same complaints because i could understand you know new people bringing their germs into your apartment could be a problem but the fact that i was literally like why are you inviting foreigners to stay at this airbnb not why are you inviting people to stay no why are you inviting foreigners so um yeah it's not like airbnb had like told these people they need to shut down or anything and to get um an airbnb in korea like to be a host you have to get confirmation from everybody in your apartment building that you're going to have this Airbnb. And once everybody agrees with you, then you can now post your Airbnb on the website. So it's not like these people didn't know that she had an Airbnb and wasn't like inviting people over and stuff. Like they knew, but the problem was just that we were black. So we're frustrated. We get back to the Airbnb. We're packing up all our stuff. We're making jokes like, 
we should just like destroy the um not the inside apartment but like the outside apartment and stuff like you know just make a mess of things and everybody thinks we have the virus as we're like walking out of the airbnb we're like hey yeah we got the virus blah blah, blah. just you know being stupid we were drunk at the time so yeah but um yeah it was really frustrating we um continued to make more mixed drinks on our way to our new airbnb um we took a taxi there which was like the worst mistake ever because at this time there was so much traffic and i was literally about to pee my pants because we had chugged so many like mixed drinks and so we're all like sitting in there like crisscrossing our legs like oh what are we gonna do like this sucks if only we could have just stayed at our other airbnb and we have to ask this taxi driver like nicely like um can you please stop because um my friend's back there about to pee their pants so you gotta find a place to stop thankfully he was cool and nice he's like oh don't worry i got you so he stopped we went to the bathroom or whatever and then about an hour or more later we finally get to our airbnb and it should have only taken us like 15 minutes had there been no traffic but when we got into our airbnb it was nothing like the first one like it was dirty and the bathroom had like it looked like there was some type of monster living in the drain with the amount of hair that was in there so we were just we were upset that we got kicked out of the nice airbnb and got put down in the motel six basically of airbnbs um but yeah that was um the story of the time me and my friends got kicked out of an airbnb me and joanne in the vlog video that i made um we were kind of laughing like oh yeah like you know we're experiencing racism in korea like this is dumb and like i was like yeah i'm gonna make a t video and i'm gonna title it the time i experienced racism in korea and joanne's like <laughs> the time i could literally write a whole book about that open to page 500 about the many times i've experienced racism so maybe i'll ask her and we'll put our stories together and i'll see if i can come up with any other stories that we've experienced being foreigners and discrimination but for now that's the story that most recently happened and i wanted to share with you guys <laughs> so i know this video was a little bit long but you know, I was really getting into my story, you know, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you would like to see more videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. You can comment, listen, a girl is bored. So please, I want people to talk to. So leave me a comment, give me a like, subscribe to my video, and I will see you guys later. Bye!